morning, all you little birds. Oh. Oh, look down there, Patch. It's like a big green and white carpet. And it goes on forever. really tickles. It does. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at them closely, these flowers really are beautiful. Mm, they're so fresh. They smell like springtime. Mm, I could stay here all day. <gasps> Cinderella. Cinderella. <gasps> Cinderella. Oh. Come down immediately. You've had more than enough sleep. Yes, Mother. I'll be right down. You're a very lazy girl, you know that? I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was late. And? And, uh, and it won't happen again. Fine. You're forgiven this time. But if you want to remain in my house, you had better start taking your work seriously. But... No buts. Your sisters are already getting prepared for today's contest. I told you yesterday you would need to get up early to help them get dressed. But no, you chose to sleep. Well, I'm giving you one last warning, Cinderella. Now go make our breakfast. Yes, Mother. It will be ready in no time. You'll see. Poor Cinderella. Her stepmother is so hard on her while she gives in to every whim of those two brats of hers. No one deserves to be treated like that. from my dream. I wonder who's going to be Princess of the Flower Festival. You know very well who's going to win. I know, but I can still hardly believe it. <gasps> Perhaps I should prepare an acceptance speech. Why would you prepare an acceptance speech for me? But you just said you knew who would win. Didn't you mean me? Of course not. <gasps> Stop arguing, ladies. Each of you is as beautiful as the other, but only one of you can win. The important thing is that one of you wins that crown today. But you needn't worry. You could beat the competition with bags over your heads. <laughs> <laughs> put these weeds on the table anyway. They're awful. Mother, why are you throwing them out? Those are hardly the type of flowers to dress a noble woman's table. Besides, we have no need for flowers. My girls are so lovely, their mere presence is enough to light up any room. <laughs> of course, when I say my girls, it doesn't include you. Now, both of you, run upstairs and change your dresses. But that will take too long. We'll just have to be late, then. I will not go out in public like this. We'll be fashionably late, even better. But who's going to clean those dresses while we're gone? Oh, I'm coming, too? Until this unfortunate incident, I was going to take you. But it's only fair you should clean the dresses, since the spill was your fault. But Misha knocked the vase over. That's enough, Cinderella. My mind is made up. Get those dresses cleaned and have a snack ready for when we return. Mother. Hmm, have I made myself clear now? Oh, yes. Don't let me down again, young lady. I won't.
You had a dream about flying over a field of clover? Yes, and it was so beautiful that I can't even find the words to describe it. But then a big snake came along and turned my dream into a nightmare. Cinderella, that's terrific. Huh? I'm sure that wonderful things will start coming your way. Venga, what are you talking about? If you've gone mad, if you know something, we don't. I do. My grandpa knew the meaning of dreams, and he taught me how to read them. For example, if you dream about a field of clover, it means good fortune's on the way. Right, I remember it now. My mother told me that before I was born, she went to see Bingo's grandpa so he could explain the meaning of a dream she had. She dreamed that a brown bear was chasing her, and his grandpa told her that it meant she would have a beautiful little pink daughter. <laughs> Obviously, Bingo's grandpa's prediction proved to be quite accurate. Well, except for some of the smaller details, I'd say. What does that mean? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I dare you to say it again. Who, me? I didn't say Bingo. anything. Bingo! <laughs> don't you two ever stop arguing? Cinderella, if what Bingo said is really true, don't you think you should go to the flower festival? If you stay here, you'll never find out what might have happened. I'd love to go, Patch, but Mother told me to stay home and work. She's just afraid you would win over her daughters. Patch is right. You should go. We think so, too, Cinderella. And don't worry about the chores. We'll get them done. Believe me, dreams never lie. You should go. You can't let this chance pass you by. Well, it can't hurt. I'll go. I can't wait to see who gets chosen as Princess of the Flower Festival. Well, go on, then, and you have fun. There. The house is locked. And here's a special crown for our princess. You look absolutely beautiful. Flowers really suit you. As if you were born to be a princess. They're absolutely right, Cinderella. If you entered the contest, I'm sure they'd crown you princess. Thank you for the compliments, Bingo. But my sisters are in the contest, and if I show up as well, they'll know I didn't stay home like I was supposed to. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Sometimes you're so silly, you should keep your ideas to yourself. See you soon. and finish your makeup, girls. They're not going to stall this contest much longer. Mother, don't you think I should wear a bit darker shade of lipstick? No, Catherine, you don't want to over-accentuate your features. Besides, you look perfect even without makeup. Mother, help me. I can't get my eye pencil on right. I'm so nervous my hands are shaking. All right, just calm down. These flowers are for you. It was nice of you to give me a ride. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Now it's perfect. Come along, Jean. It's time to start. Must have imagined it. I'd better be careful. <laughs> 